Hello everyone, this is Lucas Horklox and welcome back for more Tales of Destiny 2. Last time we beat Glysola Lavalas. Mmm, one nasty boss down. Done. <laughs> oh my god, that, that was so good. Oh, it was so worth it just to level grind to level 50. Anyway, um, but unfortunately we were caught up in whatever t whatever vortex we managed to get sucked into. And now we're stuck on this weird cave. We haven't stepped outside yet, but I want to go over something that I have neglected for how many parts? 42 parts into this fucking project, and now I'm going to go over how the hell do you learn skills in this game. Alright, so basically, before I start off, I was I remember I was bitching about like, Oh, I don't know, how do you learn skills? It doesn't, it's like, and I was going on the internet and everything, and then... I mean, like, it just hit me. I have the fucking manual right here. I have the, f I have the game right here. I have the, I mean, the the case and the manual. So it was like, and I can read a little bit of Japanese if I put my, if I put my best effort into it. So I decided to read into this manual, which, by the way, is like so full of information. It's all pretty looking. Oh my gosh. Ah, oh, I love these. I love how the Japanese get so into their shit when it comes to packaging, or at least you know with manuals. You know how nowadays. Um, most games don't even come with, um, I mean, they come with a manual, but it's mostly, like, just, this is how you use the controllers, that's it. Um, and, and that's stupid, and that sucks, because I know they're trying to save money on, from printing, but, I mean, like, I miss those times when you can actually just get into the game by first reading the manual, like, ooh, you can do this, and ooh, and you get some synopsis of the story and the characters and whatnot. I think I was, I was, I, I was, um, complaining about that when I got Tells of Graces F, the English version, which I already fucking sold it off. I have the Japanese version. <laughs> Oops! Um, like, I was complaining, like, the English version of, and I'm pretty sure it tells of Exilia is the same way, the, the English version, where the manual doesn't even tell you every, doesn't tell you the characters, doesn't tell you, it doesn't go in-depth with all the features, it just expects you to just go into the game and just, you know, um, read on the in-game tutorials, which is okay, but I mean, I love that, I love that they actually have something in here that you can refer to quickly. And like in a book, and it gives you like information. But anyway, okay, I'm sorry. I, this it wasn't. This isn't supposed to be me bragging about Japanese, um, <laughs> manuals. Um. Anyway, so yeah, I was looking into this got in the manual, right? And let me just turn to the page here. Let me see where it is. It also shows you all the 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 sakus and the strategies and everything. So oh my gosh, knowing that and no and <laughs> I was able to fucking understand what the hell. I was doing in here because it has ins inscription uh, descriptions for this crap. Um, okay, let me see. Where, what page? Here it is. Basically, let me just get into it. Let's just go to en Enchant. Oh, by the way, this is the team I'm going to be using for this part of the game. I'm going to be playing as Loni because... Because I want to. <laughs> anyway, alright. Here's... Okay, so here's your Enchant menu, right? And on the left here, you can see your... Your, um... What's it called? Let me see what the game call, what the manual calls it. It calls it the Atik Atik uh Aktibu Deberu. So it's the active level of skills. So the way learning skills work is as you see here, there's four different types of um special skills or special attacks. Or like uh, or how do I say this? Um Well, they're just four types of of different attacks. You have the normal attack, then you have skill, then you have magic, and finally you have chain. So, and then you can see there, there's a number beside, at the bottom, um, below those, um, uh, those attacks. It, like on the attack, my attack is at tw level 22, my magic is at level 30, my chain is at level 20, and my skill is level 19, and so on and so forth. Now, on the bottom here, you can see a description of percentages, and this basically tells you how much of these um, actions you've been doing throughout your game, or, you know, in accordance to the battles that you've fought. So, alright, so let's get into something here. Let's check if there's anybody on, oh, never mind. Uh, well... I was gonna show you if any of the characters are about to, are, are, are trying to learn a new art, and you can tell that by if there's a blue um font in in an art here, but we already learned. Oh, here's one. Okay, here's one. All right. Now, if you go into an un, un, an art that you're about to learn, you'll see that you'll see here in the description 
there is actually parameters that you need to fulfill in order to learn this new art, which is Ryosen for Natalie. So in order to learn this art, you need two more levels of attack, two more levels of skills or of skill, and two levels of chain. And the way you earn levels is by doing repeating these actions throughout the fight. So for attack, as much as long as you attack constantly, you'll earn experience for your attack parameter. And and if you and to learn um skills for skills, you just have to use your arts. That's how you gain experience for using this for earning your skill level. And as for chains, that's basically whenever you combo um you connect your attacks. You know like you do a a three hit combo and then follow that up with an art and then probably follow it up with an extension or with an action extension that's how you earn chains the more you do them the more experience you get towards your chain level so boom that's how you actually learn these and the way you learn them is when it once you have build up enough um once you build up enough levels to fulfill the requirements uh on the next level up, I, I think it's when you level up, you actually learn the art. You don't, you don't learn them right at, right after you learn, after you re, um, fulfill the requirements. I think you have to wait until you gain to the next level in order to unlock the new art, so to say. I haven't, I, I don't think, I don't know if that's true or not, but I think that's how it works. So, basically, that's how you learn your arts in this game. It's not by leveling up normally, it's by leveling up your actions. Attack, skill, magic, and chains. That's how it is, <laughs> and the and the description on the bottom here just tells you how much you've been using of all of these four action different special actions. Now that's not all. We also have uh let's see oh let's use Nanali again. She has she's gonna learn Ancient Nova. We also have uh yeah we also have um element levels. Just they're the same thing as skill levels except um. You have levels for fire, water, wind, and darkness. And these all depend on what kind of elements your characters use. For example, Nanali can't never get um, the light um, element because she doesn't have any light spells. And non and um, Rayala can't get any darkness um, elements because she doesn't have any dark spells, I think. Yeah, she doesn't have any. So, in order to learn new spells... It's the same thing as learning new arts. As you can see here, when you're going into and you're looking up at an art, at a spell that you want to learn, you'll see the required levels that you need to gain in order to learn the spell. So we need three more levels of uh, fire. So three more levels of fire, and the way you gain experience from them is by using your elements. You know, you, it's pro I think it also counts for elemental arts. Like you know, as you can see, Natalie has some element arts here. So the more you use an attack that it's associated with the element, the more experience you gain for the level. And again, and this only a, this you you gain the levels during the level up. You just have to build them up as you go. You don't and and you don't earn the level up right after you fulfill the requirements. So, and this game, let me just show you on my equipment here. There's there's something here in the equipment that I, that can tell you something. Um, where is it? Uh. No, we're, I have I have a slot here. Yeah, here you go. Here, for example, you see on this weapon the magical um the magical halberd that Loni has. The slot here is the magical slot, and this is kind of confusing because I've checked this out there in this game. Um, there are two slots that have the same name but have different effects, so we kind of want to watch out for that because there is another slot called the magical, but that increases your wisdom. <laughs> this one doesn't. So in the description here. If you equip this slot, or if you equip this weapon, technically, um, this slot will grant you extra experience for whenever you do your at your the associated action with it. And here, it's the magical. So the more you use magic, you get some extra bonus experience for it. So that's a good way to be able to learn um, arts and skills very quickly. So that's basically it. <laughs> that's how you learn skills in this game. It's kind of cool now. Um, so you just have to. It's, I was kind of right because I think I was having theories on how you learn them. I was kind of right. I, it, it is that by using the same element or by using this certain attack a bunch of times, you'll be able to eventually learn it. So there you go. Hold on. I need. Let me get drink some tea. Ugh. All right. 
Now, before we move on, oh, uh, I know, I'm sorry. Um, I, I want to go over what I have for my party. As for Loni, um, I have him mostly on some of his, like some of the arts. I want to try to build up my skill levels for the, some of his arts here, because I don't have, I don't think I have a good enchant for, um, Shinku, Shinku Hasaijin, Shinku Hasaijin. Yeah, we don't have his Hyogi for it yet, so I don't want to do anything with it. Excuse me. Um. So what I'm gonna do is, yeah, I'm just gonna have to. I'm just gonna be using this attack a lot in order, and and eventually I'll learn in, um, and in the, the necessary enchants for it. So for the enemies around this area, most of them are gonna be weak to light. You want to use light magic in here. There's also a bunch of enemies that have resistances to multiple elements. There's some that resist to the basic four elements and there's some that resist to darkness. So, I, even though I want to use Nonely, I'm not going to use her right now. I'm going to use I'm going to wait until later when we get to an area where we can be able to use fire because Nonely, she doesn't she has shadow, but she's basically most she's mostly the like the uh uh, the basic elementalist because um, most of her good attacks are just based on the four elements. So I'm gonna leave her for later. So for so for my strategy here, um, I'm gonna be controlling Loni here so I, that way I can be able to use Prism Flash and be able to work up on my skills. And Kyle is also gonna be uh, joining me in order to you know distract the enemies while Riala and Judas are busy casting their spells. And even though that Rayala doesn't have any light magic, like I said before, on when I was in the Draconis, um, these three um, high tier spells are really good for um, getting those technical smashes, which will get you um, positive grade, even if it hits an, an 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 elemental resist. I mean, an element that the enemy resists to. So I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm not gonna get too hei heinous when it comes to that. So that's why I have her on her basic three. Um, level tier spells. And when it comes to the time, because she does, I want her to learn Fearful Storm, but I need two more levels of wind. Um, when I control her, I will um, try to, or probably just skill grind. Yeah, I'm, I guess you can say that, or element grind. I'm going to be grinding for thrust, using Thrust Fangalon until she earns enough experience for the um, the level, to gain the level, the necessary levels to learn Fearful Storm. And hopefully I get in a, a slot that will increase... Oh, hold on. And hopefully... No! Oh, damn it! <laughs> and hopefully I'll get a slot that increases um, the XP that you gain from doing those actions. And holy cow, look at all these slots. <laughs> this is basically what happens when you level grind in one area. You get up all of this bullshit. We're going to be making some mad money in here. <laughs> Alright. So, what else? What else did I wanted to say? Um... Uh, Riala, yeah. Kyle, no-brainer. So, that's basically it. Let me just check something real quick. Yeah, I have him on Prison Flash. Alright. Now, as you can see here, there's this treasure chest here. Let's open it. And we get 23,000 gold. Um, we get... This is actually kind of a weird treasure chest. The amount of money that you gain here depends on how much time was left when you were escaping from the Draconis. So, if you manage to escape in a short amount of time, I believe you get a mo lot more gold. Um, if you leave that, if you leave that treasure chest behind and then come back for it later, um, uh, the amount of gold will actually change into 500 gold, and that's it. So you just want to get it right now. I mean, like, I don't know why would you ever want to just leave that treasure chest there. So yeah, that's pretty good. Ooh, beach. <laughs> ここはどこなんだろう？どこだとしても薄暗い洞窟の中にいるよりはよっぽどマシだよ。気分まで滅っちまうからね。ほら、どうしたんだいロニー？おい、あれはなんだ？What？What？What's up there？Whoa！What No way! We destroyed it! Well, I mean, not my team, but the, the heroes from Tales of Destiny. Whoa, what the, what the crap is this? I know! What the hell? Are we in the past? But... 
Shit. This is must be this. I guess we were in transporting in time again. That is it. Here is the future. This is not a reality. So, 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 yeah, if you remember back in Tales of Destiny 1, that lens cannon actually destroyed the the Earth and absorbed it in order to create the Aether Sphere, but this time it did something different. Oh, yeah, Rain, of course! エルレインの手によって都合よく作り変えられた。な。そ、そんなことができる。だってエルレインは過去に飛べるんです。あ、sorry。過去を変えれば未来も変わる。世界を変えることだってできるわ。とにかくあそこ行ってみよう。何かわ
I'm actually going to hold off from using these until I get around... I don't know, I'm going to wait until I level up, uh, I, I gain better levels, because... The longer you wait to use those, um, at least a percentage, the, the, the herbs that increases your um, stats by a percentage, the, um, the better it gets because, you know, it goes by a percentage. I'm not a math whiz and I suck at math, but I, the, the, higher, the, number, the higher the number that you have, like the higher, the more HP that you have, the better the effect of the sage will be. Like it'll give you even more HP compared to what, how much HP you would have gotten if you just used it on when your HP wasn't that high enough. So I'm just going to hold on to those. But that's only for like those sages and I think the... Um, what else? The Velbanes. The Velbanes are also um, uh, an herb that increases your, 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 your stats by a percentage because it increases your max TP. Oh wait, no it doesn't because there's, you can't increase TP in this game. Oh wow, I, I need to figure... I, I want to know what that one increases then, I forgot. Alright, so, just hold them off until later. Okay. Yeah, these guys are weak to fire, so that's pretty cool. I'm just gonna use magic, though. They're not weak to- yeah, they're not- they're not- re they don't resist light, so that's good. Yeah, I love- I love this battle music, too. It's so cool. Okay. Yeah, just make sure to fight effectively and go all out so that way you can get some victory. Yes! <laughs> yeah, it's like, it, it is bullshit that, that the game doesn't tell you that. It's a weird way to earn grade, but that's how it is, man. That's just how it is. Ooh! Of course it won't. Would have been an herb here. It looks like it looks. Oh, a savory. Okay, I think it was the savory that does that. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, never mind. It increases your TP recovery instead of your max TP. All right, nice. Okay. Oh. Ooh, we get a rosemary. That one increases your accuracy. So, cool. Is that how we leave? Nope. Okay. I'm surprised there's no music for this area. Okay. Ooh! There's another one. Here we get a chamomile. So, I forgot what this one increases. Oh, TP reduction. Alright, nice. Has anybody ever tried chamomile tea? I heard that's... I, I heard that's really good, but I don't know. Ugh. Okay, I want to use my Hiyoki. Ah damn it! <laughs> I didn't do it. <laughs> I was kind of, I was kind of confused. <laughs> oh well. I think I got some technical smashes from using the blaster, the demon blaster mode. So that's, that's all good, I guess. Ah! Damn it! I wanted her to use um flame brave. That's her. I think that's her. That's what it's called. Her yogi. Ah, but oh well. Okay. Ooh. And here we get the safu, safudan, saf. Oh, the saffron. Sorry. <laughs> um, this increases your evade. I think that's everything, right? No, we haven't gotten the verbena yet. We need the verbena. Oh, what is it, Anneli? Uh, that's what we've been doing. <laughs> she's been, she's telling us that. Oh, maybe we should use the sorcerer scope to scan for some items here. Uh, and, uh, like, wasn't she fucking paying attention? That's what I was doing. Uh, I, I don't, I haven't, I don't think I scanned down there. Let's go check down there. Yep. Alright, this should be the last item. Yeah, the verbena. This one increases our defense. So, alright, we'll just hold on for those, to those items, for later. Ooh, mermaids. Oh, yeah, these are, they, they resist through all the basic elements. And this guy resists freaking everything. So... Ah, shit! Ooh! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> nice! <laughs> that was nice. I forgot what the Hiyogi was called, though, so I couldn't just... I couldn't do my epic 
need to say the, the incantation for it. Okay, I'm just gonna prison flash the mermaid of death. Ancient Tonoa! Oh shit! What? He killed Kyle? Aw, oh, that is gay. Hold on. Um, Judas, can you use your... Oh, he doesn't have a, an enchantment to touch that. Oh. Okay. Thanks to our, our, our technical smashes, we managed to come out of that battle with good grade, but oh my gosh. Okay. Those guys can hit really hard then. Yeah, one thing I'm going to do for this LP from now on... Um, before I start into a new area, I'm actually going to take some time to kind of test the waters, you know, when I'm in a new area, like, if I'm in a dungeon, or, or so to say, um, I'm going to end it, up, like, end the part there, and then I'm going to take my time to, I'm going to take my time to, um, oh, what's it called, uh, to just, you know, just get on to the random battles, test out what works and what doesn't work, so that way when I when I do start recording it, I'll I'll become I'll I'll, I'll be filled with knowledge and tell you guys oh you need to do this and this way that's way I mean like you know you know what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, we want to go over here. So yeah, we want to get this is that giant building. Yeah, we're good. Oh, fire! Yeah, I need to start using my um skills. You know what? I need to change something. This, um, Kuha to, Tokotan, that, that's like an aerial attack, but we're not facing any aerial enemies. So, I'm gonna use Senku Baba because that basically just pushes them away, pushes the enemies away, literally, so. Ew! There you go, see? Pretty nice. Good. Yeah, we're doing good. All right, let's let's hit this weird building. Bonjiro. Oh, nice. Ah, no dome wa machi honto da. Apparently, this is a city. Apparently, this is a city. Oh, 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 whoa. You have something in your face. No, we're okay. Are you kidding me? You're kidding me. You're kidding me. You're what? Oh, what? what? Oh, no, no, it's... Judas has the right idea. We shouldn't... He's suspicious. Oh, I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to worry about it. Why do you have a lens in your forehead? I understand. When I was upset, I was like, this is the city of Banjero. And when you were lost, this is the lens. What the what? what? El Rain? Well, I shouldn't be surprised. Of course, she's gonna be the one behind this. What the hell? So she fulfilled her. She fulfilled her what she wanted to do. So フォルトナ診断の方たちに話をしてみなよ。フォルトナ診断。フォルトナ。ああ。ウィメタル。フォルトナ診断ってのはエルレイン様を支える人たちの集。みんな優しい方ばかりだから、きっと親身になって。わか
they think that the outside world is full of date well it is dangerous because there's all those enemies but something doesn't feel right with with me when it comes to stuff like this you know when it comes to eternal happiness it just feels like it just breeds ignorance all right let me just i'm sorry about that whole philosophical <laughs> crap that i was talking but anyway uh we want to talk to this lady because yeah you remember she's the room bottle lady so we want to buy all the room bottles that she has one more here we go arigato Okay, we got 15 room bottles, so let me just get this out of the way. I want to um, improve these. Can I? Uh, way you can't? No, I don't want this to be changed into a lavender. Oh, what? It doesn't do it like that anymore? That's fucking bullshit. Okay, um, maybe if you have two of the same item that you can act- No, 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 then what the hell? What's the point of doing it then if you can just- whatever. Okay, apparently I guess you can't improve these these herbs. Because I never tried this before, so I, this is my first time actually trying to do this. Oh, that's stupid. It just changes into another- to, an, to a different property. Oh, what- oh, okay, whatever, I don't- whatever <laughs> okay that kind of lowered my spirits a bit i was kind of hoping like oh i'm gonna be saving these for when it comes to the right time i'm gonna be using them and i'm gonna they get super powerful or whatnot uh, okay i don't know i just feel like talking to some of the npcs here some of them are kind of giving you that weird attitude like um everything's all fine and dandy with the world even though it just feels so weird um all right, well, we want we all actually want to go to somewhere so we can advance the plot, but I believe there's some shops in here that we can get. This one is a What was that? Oh, it's like an Enertron. <laughs> like in Chrono Trigger. Basically, you just step into that thing and it fully heals you. That's pretty nice. But it kind of sucks. It's nice to be able to go into a bed, not just step into some weird light and then boom, you're not tired anymore. This must be a shop. Yeah, there it is. All right, let's just stock up with some apple gels. Finally, we can buy pine gummies. Life bottles. Uh, liquor bottles. I'm not going to be using that. I'm going to be buying a bunch of dark bottles because I use that a lot in order to level grind. Um, holy bottles, and that's basically it. Uh, I'll sell off all of my stuff into the next part because I'm pretty sure this video is getting really long. Yeah, 32 minutes. Okay. I'm, I'm going to wait on wait until later to the next part i guess so let's just go to to where the cutscene is so we want to go over here all right now we're in the second floor of this weird city uh no i don't need a you i don't need to ask questions all right um oh hey look it's these two guys again but <laughs> No, I don't need to know about battle tactics. Thank you very much. Uh, let's go over here then. Yeah, it's pretty nice. ちょうどいいや。ここでちょっと休んでこう。俺はどうしても。それに関して一つ気づいたことも。ここのドームは建てられてから相当時間が。つまりこんな世界に変わ。おそらくかなり前の歴史をいじったからこそドームも古いし。so this might not be the past nor the future. This might be an alternate timeline. That's what Judas is trying to say here. An alternate timeline where Ella Rain was able to fulfill what she wanted to do when now she's the hailed holy woman throughout the world and doing her job as the holy woman. Yes. I kind of actually like this. You know how in most RPGs, the people of the clergy tend to be huge dicks like, No! We need to destroy the world in order to save it. No! This one actually fulfills what their intended purpose is. They actually are bettering the world. This is actually really cool. I actually like that they this that they actually did this with Ella Rain's character. She's not trying to destroy the world. She's trying to fulfill... She's trying to bring happiness to the world. And, I mean, like... She's not kill going around killing people, but the thing is, this is like a question of your own morality. Like, would you give up your free will in order to become become eternally happy? Does that make you even human anymore? 
So it's like those questions like that. I just love how this game does it like this. It's not like it doesn't go with a typical JRPG where the like it, like most of the villains when it comes to religion or something like that, they tend to be like giant dicks that they want to just just conquer the world. Elorain isn't like that. She does want uh, like she is she is like the ruler here, but she's a benevolent ruler. She doesn't she wants everybody to become peace to live in peacefully and happily. But obviously, this feels wrong. I mean, th this is also feels strange because in the process, you're taking away what makes us human. We have to come, we have to experience sadness. Um, all those other emo like sad, like all those other emotions, like anger, sadness, um, despair, in order to be able to appreciate our happiness. So, it, like the people around here, if you talk to some of the people here, they kind of feel empty. So. That's one, that's one thing I have to give this game credit for. They actually, like I said, they, they, they made El Rain do what she is actually trying to do. Like, she's not trying to, like, she doesn't have any hinged agenda. It's like, oh, I'm just secretly trying to make this, do it like this, so that way the people can be happy. I mean, so that way the world can be destroyed, and in the process, I believe that means happiness. No, no, it's not like that. It's not like fucking Silent Hill. But, um... Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna leave it up into here. I know this was a very short video. I mean, not a short video. I mean, like, we didn't really do anything. <laughs> we just stepped into the city and that's it. But, um, at least we know where we are. So, we're gonna try to find a way to get to Rail Rain because we don't, we obviously don't want to leave the world in this state. I mean, we want to be happy, but not like this. We wanted to be happy as humanly as possible. So, on to the next part. We're gonna find out where we need to go and I'll be able to go over on what we stuff we can sell and refine so i'll see you guys into the next part bye